Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus. It's that time of the year again. Every September or so, Apple updates the phones and comes out with new ones. This time around, we have very similar designs, and both of these phones are not really inexpensive phones, although depending on your carrier, they can be had as little as around $5 a month up to $50 a month, depending on your carrier, or outright, they start at $650 for the 6S, $650. 750 and 850 or 750 850 and 950 depending on 1664 or 128 gigabytes depending on which one you've got so i thought we'd just do a quick unboxing and take a look at both of them uh, they shouldn't really have anything different inside of them so let's open them up here i i cut this open a little bit i was able to pick these up uh well this evening i actually reserved them online for pickup in store it was a bit of a wait actually but I got to the store, picked them up, and here we have them. So this is Space Gray. It now comes in four colors. So we have Space Gray, Silver, which has a white front. All the rest have white fronts. Space Gray, Silver, Gold, and Rose Gold, which is more of a pink. So let's open both of these up. There we go. And here are both phones. Now, many people online I've seen said these are a little bit heavier than the last generation. They're using a new grade of aluminum, and this aluminum is a little more durable. The screen is a little bit more heavier thanks to 3D touch. And here is my current 6 Plus. Here's the 6S Plus. Uh, it definitely feels a little heavier, but it's not too much heavier. People have said it's 30% heavier. Uh, I don't know if it feels that, but let's open these up, take a look at both in just a second. We'll slide these aside. And inside, you're going to find the exact same thing. So we'll take a look inside this literature packet here. Let's pop this out. And as to be expected, we have 6S Plus. It tells you where all the different buttons are. We've got our stickers, and this is just iPhone info. Let's see, this is a little guide, or no, it's just a little pamphlet, and it says, Welcome to iPhone. So we'll put this back in here. Now, with every iPhone, you get a pair of headphones. These are the Apple EarPods. Some people like these, like myself. I think they're pretty good starter headphones, not the greatest, but they actually are pretty comfortable for me. Uh, for others, they're not. It just depends on your ear shape. But we've got EarPods in both. We've got the AC adapter, and this is going to look different depending on where you live as far as the plug, but everything else is going to be the same, USB. And then we have the lightning cables. So pretty simple there. And let's get back to the phone for just a moment here. So each phone uh, is basically the same. Now this has a ton of different carriers it's compatible with now. Pretty much they're the same across all carriers. You can see the only difference between the last version and this one is this one says S right here. Other than that, you really can't tell the difference just by looking at it. The camera is going to be a little bit different. So here is the 6S, 6S Plus versus the 6 Plus. A little bit different. This is black around that ring, silver around the ring for the space gray. I actually have a skin on the back of this, so it looks a little bit different, but it is space gray if you look at the bottoms here. So basically the same externally except for that ring, so you can tell that. This is a 12 megapixel camera, where the old one is an 8 megapixel camera, and this also records 4K video. Now the difference between these two phones is this one has optical image stabilization for both photo and video. So that helps with some shake with your hands, some shake while you're walking or whatever, and however you're filming, it should help with that. And we'll do some tests with that later. But that's pretty much it for both of these phones. Uh, they're pretty standard as far as iPhones go. They look pretty much like last year's model, but they do feel a little more hefty, especially this one. Uh, feels heavier than I remember it feeling when it when I had it before. Uh, but pretty nice. I like both of them. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, we'll be doing some other videos and comparisons as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.